jump ahead to 125 here where these guys are going to get after it. Spencer Lee, the returning national champion. It's Sebastian Rivera who has a win against Lee earlier in the year at the Midlands Tournament. Here we go. The number one ranked Sebastian Rivera going up against the defending NCAA champion. The first true freshman in 20 years to win at 125, Spencer Lee from Iowa. Here's how they got here. Rivera taking his number one seed and sliding to the finals. And Lee with an impressive win over Russell, 8-0 in the semis. And they're matched up for the first time since December when Rivera beat Lee in the Midlands Championship. Lee did not wrestle in the dual meet between Northwestern and Iowa, so everyone in the wrestling world has been waiting for this rematch. A good look there at Spencer Lee. What a year he had last year as a true freshman, you coming know, out of red shirt in January. Yeah, and four falls in the NCAA tournament plus a major. And he's just a, a tech fall as well, so he, he's uh, really been the guy to go here. This is going to be an interesting match because... You know, Rivera was able to keep the, this match in space the last time that they wrestled. A lot of lateral motion, able to keep Lee from getting comfortable in his tie-ups. And at the same time when Lee would pursue to get those ties, he was able to drop in on the shot. Look for Lee to kind of cut the ring off just like a, a boxer would to kind of get into his ties and work the head a little bit. Get to two-on-ones and get to his shots. Spencer Lee out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin, Franklin Regional High School, a three-time state champion. Like we said, NCAA champ last year as a true freshman, two-time junior world champion, cadet champion. He is seasoned beyond his years, and he's made a big impact on this Iowa program. As you can see already, Lee does not like to operate. He takes a deep shot right there. He's able to come out the back door here and see if Rivera's got the lock in the crotch there, see if he's able to go ahead and... Lee's able to go ahead and turn back in. It looks like he's going to be in a good position to do that. Trying to do an ankle pass right now is Rivera. See his elbow deep around that. Try to take the uh, initiative. The referee's been calling this a stalemate relatively quickly. And the yep. stalemate is called. They'll go back to the center on their feet. Yep. Actually, a potentially dangerous call. Good call there by the official. Rivera, New Jersey prep. The first two weight classes are Pennsylvania versus New Jersey preps. Already this match is a little bit more tight, you know, as far as their space goes. Oh, Rivera able to go ahead and get to that shot. He likes to drift one direction or the other and hit those low shots at the ankle, and he had a lot of success. He took Lee down three times in that match in the Midlands Finals. All with different techniques. Rivera, the first recruit for interim head coach uh, Matt Storni Storniolo when he got the head job and Rivera was his first recruit and he was somewhat off the radar but he was recruiting a great attitude according to the coach. We saw Rivera fearless earlier. He stepped up to wrestle uh, Stevan Micic um, at 133, the two number one ranked wrestlers in the nation at 125 and 133. Micic was able to win that in, uh, you know, with pretty ease, but it was a, a, a great statement by Rivera that he's just looking to get better and looking to be challenged. You know, every season, Tim, win national championships, it doesn't get easier. Nice little, little head pick right there. Collar tie going really hard, trying to hit that uh, ankle pick there on Lee on that lead leg. You can see the quickness that Rivera possesses. Question Very for dangerous. you. Yeah. Um, you'd say at the end of the first period, if you went 0-0 with Lee, you'd be your advantage. But from a Rivera standpoint, having taken him down uh, several times in the first period last time, what do you think right here? I think you're exactly right. I think it's advantage here for Lee, you know, to be able to go ahead and go neutral in that first period. That sounds funny to say that, so it's just a great question. So here you've got Rivera. He's trying to go ahead and, and he's got to go ahead and take a little riding time down because Lee is so tough in the top position, you just don't want to turn this into a four-minute riding match. A quick escape here would really be advantage for Lee. Nice 
nice job of Rivera by following, but he, does, he doesn't have his grip high enough to get a decent mat return. Drops in on the leg. Lee coming hard with that wizard, and he gets the escape. And then 25 seconds of a ride for Rivera. Lee on uh, his feet. They're neutral, and it's 1-0. Spencer Lee, the defending NCAA champion, true freshman last year, came out of red shirt in the middle of the season, was recovering from ACL uh, surgery, and uh, took his brace off in the NCAA finals and beat Nick Suriano in the finals, who we'll see next at 133. Suriano from Rutgers moving up to 133 really important part of this match here for Rivera. Now that he's given up the escape and only has 25 seconds of riding time, it's really incumbent on him to get something working on the feet because if he gets, he's able to get a takedown, which he's, doesn't look like he's going to with the hands locked right there around the waist. A good mat return gets it. Things going Spencer Lee's way right now for the Hawkeyes. Out front 3-0 with that takedown. Well, I think he'll look back at this match and say that was my opportunity to be aggressive and, and, and go down with my shot as opposed to waiting for Lee to go ahead and get on the advantage right there. And Lee, being the champion, senses that little strength that he had right there at the end and kind of powered in and got around behind and good mat returns, they go off. So Lee, very good in the top position. Let's take a look at this takedown. Just a little snap down, underhook, a little duck under right there, a little front trip action maybe. Yep, comes up, lifts up with the hips. Good mat return. Hang on a second, stop. Really in control. Time right? Lee coming on yeah, to he went uh, down. He scored. the top. They're going to look at the uh, yeah, riding he time. Was, he was down. He started make sure down, it's so correct. we had to give up some. Set. Red cover. Set. You're out. Stand up. Now, Rivera was able to get out in the last match, but that's a little bit different animal here now when Lee wants to be in the top position. So strong up there. Latches on, and from a strategic standpoint and with the score, it's all been Spencer Lee to this point. You know how the coaches there recruiting earlier and earlier, wrestlers are being watched from the time they're small. Tom Brand says he has been impressed with Spencer Lee since he was 110 pounds. Been watching him for a long time, and he says he has made a big impact with his humble example as a team leader, and he's only a sophomore. Well, I think he said it you know, perfectly there, Tim, is that his, his presence last year on his path to winning NCAA titles Remember, he got beat in the Big Ten championships in the semis. So he, he, he just has that maturity that you just wouldn't expect out of a guy that's a, a, a freshman. But he's done a lot of winning at the lower, uh, on the freestyle circuit. Of course, three-time state champion in high school. Just has all the tools. Spencer Lee was third in the Big Tens last year before he won the NCAAs. Nathan Tomasello, the graduated senior, four-time All-American national champion. Nathan Tomasello was last year's champion for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Look where he's got that wrist, Tim, that left, left wrist of uh, Rivera up there high. He's got the wrist now behind the back. Rivera able to pop to his feet. And to get the escape, so 3-1 score. Riding time at 118, so Rivera really has to get on his office at this now. Well, you just said it because Spencer Lee caught him not being on his offense earlier, created his own with that uh, duck under and the drive, and the key to Rivera is staying on his offense and wrestling his match. The part of tournament wrestling, Tim, is no winning when you're out of it, not waiting for the last 20 seconds of the third period. Recognize the strategy's not going your way. Stall warning on Lee in that instance. Good shoot. Good job of shooting off a Lee off the map by Rivera, but he needs to get a takedown and a ride out here. He needs, needs to do it fast. Working hard with that double underhook. If he can get the stall warning here, that could assist him here. Good job of Lee holding him off. Now they threw the, uh, the brick. That's uh, Jimmy Kennedy is uh, the initiator, the assistant coach there of the brick. Now they're looking for the hands to the face call, and I think that's pretty wise of the Northwestern Western, uh, coaching staff there. Hands to the face call. It is or it isn't. Yeah, yeah. They, basically would eliminate riding time at that point. See if we can find it on our replay. Right here, oh, clearly in that triangle. Wouldn't be surprised to be that 
see that call. And there's no warning. It's a, if they decide to call hands to the face, it'll be one, and you're right then. That takes away the, the need. Yeah, no question about it. The need for um, the, the, to take care of that riding time, because that riding time right now is almost as good as Lee's. Unless uh, the takedown could happen in the next five seconds. A minute 18 riding time uh, for Spencer Lee right now with 23 seconds left in regulation. Matt Sorczynski, the uh, official, and Mike McCormick both taking a look at it. And one one. Point. Hands to the face. Pretty obvious call at that point. That has been a point of emphasis as we talk about almost every match. But uh, what that was was a darn good job out of the northwestern corner of seeing that and throwing that brick immediately. Now it gives Rivera an opportunity to, with a, a takedown and a ride out basically to tie the match. Hands to the face. Tough duty as well against the national Put champion. And here we go, 23 seconds left, or 30 seconds. They put 30 seconds on the board, and Rivera in on the single leg. Look at those hips, though, of Lee. He's able to hold him off. Going right into the wizard, gets to the far ankle. That's got to be close. Yes. Gets to two, 15 seconds left on the edge of the mat. He's got to stay on the leg here. That would be his best, my best advice here for him. You start getting the count, count, you can go ahead and move him off. If he hangs on here, we'll go to overtime because Lee has riding time. Yep. And Rivera thinks he's won the match right. right now. Yep. So here we go. Sudden victory. One minute on the clock. Any score wins. There's been a stalling call on Lee. So whatever kind of point. Watch this. Right there, right back at you. Could be a hands in the face. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> and a line drive. <laughs> Holy crap. And you see Mike McCormick and uh, who's the side judge at number 24, Matt Sorenchinski. He's uh, taking a good look at that. And we talked. Any score right here would win the match. So if they do call this a hands to the face, Spencer Lee would be the champion. Take another look. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Uh, it's, it's, it's up, it's, the, it's up uh, above. Yeah, unless there's something else that we haven't seen. Yeah, not in that right triangle of eyes and nose. No, nope. yeah. we don't know that for sure. Let's see what the call is. The head coach of Northwestern on the sidelines as his assistant coach Jim Kennedy got his call, but the Iowa coaching staff did not get theirs. You saw the difference from where the hand landed. Well, let's look, look for that lateral quickness here. A Rivera, is he able to go ahead? And, and this good job by Lee tying him up here. He wants to break free, Rivera does. Looking for that step in. Now is an opportunity to get a little bit of angle here. Both guys scrapping pretty hard. Lee back in on a shot. Plenty of time for both of these guys to score. Shot there by Lee. He's got his head out. Wrinkle in the back of the neck. Good job by Rivera. Coming back to a double. He gets it. Wonderful scramble by those two men. Lee had a shot, almost dead to rights. Had the wrinkle in the back of his neck. And somehow, Rivera pulls a left-handed underhook and drives him through and scores at the edge of the mat. Impressive win. The sophomore, Rivera from Northwestern.